Good evening, fans, friends, family. Not necessarily in that order, obviously, but <laughs> I wanted to report about my day. Today, well, I've just come in. It's nighttime, and uh, nighttime here, seven hours less where you are, probably like 4.30 or 5 o'clock where you are, but nighttime here, and uh, about 11 o'clock, I've just come in. Immediately when I came in, I checked Facebook to make sure you were all still alive. And you are. So good. And I then I decided to maybe just make a little just video diary of, of kind of every night. Because I like making these videos. And they seem to be entertaining for you. And what the hell, right? <laughs> Who's going to tell me to stop? Anyway. So today was a good day. Today I went to class this morning. Class was interesting. It's almost entirely at this point a lab where we work with a certain system which helps people in charge with their sort of decision support mechanisms. If you know, it uh, it takes information in databases and organizes it so that folks can, folks in charge, can look at the, you know, the, the sales that were made for a particular product on a certain day, month, week, year, in a particular region, and, and do trending and analysis and try to do predictions for future sales of whatever they're selling, jeans, cooking pots, cereal, I don't know, anyway. So the exercise is to feed all of the information, the data, into this system and then extract it in a way that is readable to the normal human beings. So that was fun. Uh, I had a great time. The, it's an interesting thing because there's a lot of language barrier happening in this particular class as well. To begin with, the computers are all in German. So, you know, usually when you wake windows up or whatever you're using, you see the word welcome and the little dove with the little branch. And uh, and all the instructions are in English and you know what to do. Well, you know, uh, when in Germany, um, the, the computers aren't like that. Um, they say welcome in, which is welcome in German, and a couple other words sometimes. and. I'm not sure what those mean always, and so uh, it was interesting logging in this morning. Forgot my password. I forgot that that was one that I created, not one that was used on the system. And so you know, I eventually figured that out. And also, it, the second sort of language barrier is the keyboard. Not normal. Uh, not normal at all. Uh, there, the the there are letters in different places. There are you know in America we've got shift. We've got caps lock if we really want to express something. But in Germany there's shift, but then there's also sort of an uber shift that is really interesting. And, um, you know, press an uber shift, you don't, you just never know what you're going to get. I mean, <laughs> it's a real big box of chocolates. Anyway, so there's also, you know, some things that you can push that puts a little umlaut over certain letters and certain letters are off on the own, their own with the umlaut already on there and uh, it's complicated. It's, it, it's not a thing where you can look at the screen and type because, yeah, no. So there's sort of the second one and then the third kind of language barrier that we deal with a little bit in this class is that our professor wrote the slides in English, not his first language. And so there are a couple of things that don't kind of directly translate. And, and so I'm, I'm just, I'm sure I'm painting this guy's butt, but he's so nice about it. So I'm really grateful. Uh, everyone here is really nice. Everyone here. I have not had anyone be rude to me yet. And it has been three and a half weeks. So, mm, wow. Uh, anyway, so I uh, went to class. Class was an experience. Um, and then went to lunch, went to the Mensa, which is the cafeteria here. It was standard cafeteria food. <laughs> it is cheap, 
Uh, but it is pretty standard cafeteria food. A lot of breading, a lot of rice, a lot of french fries. They see you're an American, they're piling that stuff on, baby. You have got to, you know, you've got to put the brakes on them because they will, ooh, they see you're an American, you're in. Uh, you're in with the palm frites, um, which is, that's, that's what they say here. So, I avoided the french fries. I got the rice instead. <laughs> Not sure how much that was better for me, but it's better than fries. And then um, I came home. I had the intention of taking a short nap. It ended up being a little longer than that, but you know. Then I got up, I started doing some errands, and I decided to go. The boys were wanting to go to All You Can Eat Ribs Night at this place in the mall called The Playoff. The Playoff, it states on the menu, is an American sports bar. And let me tell you, that was a cultural experience because it wasn't, I mean, it was sort of seeing America through the prism of, you know, how another country might look at us. Because, I mean, if you were to take the literal translation of what is offered at this restaurant to be what is occurring right now in America, you would assume that every woman in America wears high heels, really short shorts, a captain's hat, and is carrying a football along with a tray of food. Um, I, I took some photos, but you know I'm going back. I'm going back with the camera, I'm going back with the tape, because I was also watching over one of my traveling partners' heads this video on the screen of all of these commercials from the 1950s. Now, apparently the iconic American culture is a soda fountain about the time of Jimmy Stewart. Uh, it is uh, a lot of checkered furniture, a lot of booths, and a huge amount of food. A uh, huge, huge amount of food. Like, for instance, tonight is All You Can Eat Ribs Night, and Wednesday is All You Can Eat Hamburger Night. How many of those bad boys can you eat, and why? Why, I ask you. Anyway, so it was really interesting the way they presented women in this thing. And not that I think that that's a direct translation of what people think of American culture, because obviously there's some, there's some marketing employees going on here. You know, scantily clad women, alcohol, and uh, flat screens with sports on them. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's of course, you know, that is the clientele you're aiming for. Um, that is the way you're going to do it. But it was really interesting because uh, I also saw a Burger King in the train station the other day. And 1950s soda fountain uh, is what it was. And so apparently this, this decoration style, because I won't call it a design style, is prevalent. And, uh, and I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back. I'm going to have some pictures taken of me, an actual... American woman next to some of these cardboard cutouts of uh, these other women because there are some differences. Uh, I do not, I do not have a pair of high heels. I will not carry a football. I will sometimes carry a plate of food, but it's mine. And as for all of the other things, we're just going to let you guys decide for yourselves when it comes time. At any rate. Then I sort of, uh, I walked around. I walked around at night. I love to walk around at night and look at the buildings because they're all architecturally lit. You can see a lot of the details and it's just really beautiful. And that's one of the things about uh, the differences between America and here is that there's really not a whole huge sense of history in America, <laughs> especially Omaha. I mean, there's just not. I, you know, we've not been there that long, honestly compared to how long these folks have been around here. And and so there's just there's probably a sense of history a little bit in Washington, D.C. is probably the only place that I felt it. Everybody, everywhere else feels pretty temporary to me. So, so yeah, I like walking around here at night because there is such a sense of, of history and that these some of these buildings have been up since, you know, middle, medieval times. Not too many. I mean, there have been 
fires and bombings and everything else here too. So there have been a lot of things that have had to be rebuilt. But, uh, but yeah, um, I walked around at night. I mused about some things for a while. And I came home. I want to announce that I have made a decision. I've made two. The first is, and I've stated this to some people already, I don't ever want a house. I want a flying carpet. This flying carpet has to have Skype involved. Uh, there has to be room for two. Those, that, those are the only really requirements of the flying carpet. I don't, I don't want to be housed somewhere that I have to stay all the time and be a slave to things that I'm supposed to want. Uh, that's one of my big decisions. That's kind of been, you know, gelling for a long time, but I just wanted to announce it to the world, YouTube, Facebook, whoever. Um, just want you to know. Second, I am no longer going to announce to you the night before what I think I'm going to do on the following day, because it doesn't always work out that way, <laughs> if you haven't noticed. Um, if I say it, to the video camera, it's likely that it's not going to happen, so I'm no longer going to say it. Um, you know, that's pretty much it for the evening. I'm going to try to, you know, I'm going to try to video once a day from different angles of the dorm room so that uh, it remains interesting for you. Um, basically because I really kind of like doing the videos and uh, they make me laugh. So, good day and We'll talk to you again soon.